Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP and the game preview for August 26th, 2023. This week we're going to be playing a game of Bolt Action. And we'll pull a mission from the Campaign D-Day U.S. Sectors book. And we're going behind enemy lines for Scenario 9 Brewing Up. So the objective for this one is the German player must get their convoy off the board via the road and the SAS must try to destroy them. So we set up the board as uh, indicated in the scenario, playing long ways on a 6x4, table running down the length of it and a road uh, more than 12 inches from one of the edges. Uh, so the special rules for the Germans is convoy. The German convoy vehicles must enter on the road with an advance order. If for any reason they cannot enter on the road, they must enter a, as physically close to it as possible. Any non-vehicle units may enter the board within six inches of either side of the board edge. And the SAS special rules are ambush. The SAS player may place up to two units of infantry on the board at the start of the game. These must be deployed fully within a terrain feature, and they start the game in ambush and hidden. And the force, or the game is supposed to be played with equal forces, which point-wise they're very equal. Uh, we'll look, take a look at that in a second. Uh, and then the uh, so the Germans, the convoy, it's going to be a free uh, free force basically for the Germans. It's going to be one convoy command vehicle, two to five supply trucks, and a security patrol. So they're free. All this is free. Um, and the security patrol is the only German unit that can start on the board, and it's a five-man inexperienced unit with all rifles. I didn't put them, or I don't show them on the uh, forces list for the Germans. I, I forgot about them, but they are in there. Um, and as far as special rules for this convoy go, there's transport, so all vehicles are considered transports, even if they have no transport capacity. Uh, they have a keep going rule. If a vehicle fails an order test, it stays where it is and goes down instead of backing up. Okay, so for deployment, uh, the German player chooses a short board edge. They do not set up any units at the start of the game, except for the security patrol. The German player declares at least half their force to enter the first wave. The others must be held in reserve. And the SAS player places their two units on the board in ambush. The rest of them are kept in reserve. Uh, it's going to go six turns. And then to determine who wins, we'll count up victory points at the end. Victory points are as follows. The German player scores three victory points per convoy vehicle. That leaves the far side of the table with an advance or run order. Uh, if a vehicle is destroyed by the SAS, they get two points, and then there's one point for every enemy unit destroyed. Whoever has the most points at the end wins. So pretty straightforward mission. Um, we'll see how it goes, but it should be pretty fun like most of our bolt action games are. So let's take a quick look at the forces. We begin with the SAS force. So this is 645.6 order dice from the SAS Northwest Europe selector as indicated by the scenario in the book. So starting off, we have a first lieutenant and man. They're going to have submachine guns, and they're also going to have a forward air support. So the officer is essentially a forward air observer, so they're going to, he's going to get to call in one airstrike. They're going to have three SAS infantry sections. They're going to be five guys. Two of them are going to have uh, three men with rifle, or I'm sorry, yeah, riflemen with a Vickers K machine gun and an NCO with a submachine gun. And the last one's going to have all SMGs. Then we're going to have an SAS deception team. It's going to be four uh, SAS guys. And these are all veterans, by the way, with submachine guns. And they're going to have the behind enemy lines and deception special rules. So deception uh, in this is every unit. Enemy units coming in from reserve suffer a minus one. So that's going to slow the Germans down a bit. Give the smaller SAS force a chance to uh, pick off the enemy units coming in. Uh, behind enemy lines when outflanking, ignore the minus one modifier to the order test for coming on for the SAS themselves. So that's pretty good. And they also all have this who dares wins rule, which makes them fanatics. Um, and that's pretty much, oh, I'm sorry, and there's a uh, uh, SAS weapons team as well. And it's just two, uh, two SAS guys with Piats. And that's it. That's the whole SAS force. They have a bunch of special rules. They're fanatical veterans, and they should be pretty rock solid. And hopefully they have a good chance to take these Germans out, or at least win by victory points by taking out uh, more vehicles. So that's it for those guys. Let's take a quick look at the Germans. The German force will be from the Anti-Partisan Security Patrol, as dictated by this scenario. And the 641 points, 9 order dice. Everything's going to be regular except for that security patrol which I mentioned earlier which is the free part of the convoy which is inexperienced so this is a Rod Farenzug platoon 
it is a bike platoon so there's going to be three bike squads and only one of them is allowed to have an LMG so there will be one with an LMG the rest are all rifles and each one will be led by an NCO with a submachine gun there's going to be a lieutenant with man with SMGs and he will have a bike as well because we are allowed to buy a bike for him if the rest of the platoon has bikes we're also bringing a captain he'll be riding with the convoy uh, to wherever they're going he's going to have a man with him and have a medium machine gun team we're also going to have a light artillery piece and that will be towed by Kettengrad and then we'll have a motorcycle with machine gun that'll be the main platoon and then the convoy itself is going to be two Opal Blitzes and the command vehicle is going to be a Kuba wagon and then of course the security patrol and that's it for the German uh, platoon so they have a lot more guys than the SAS have but the SAS are going to be laying in wait and ambush uh, they're better and they should hold their own especially with that airstrike we'll see how it goes should be interesting uh, we don't play a lot of these scenarios but I want to start doing it more so we're starting now to pull them through the book and run through them so it should be pretty awesome uh, we will be doing a live stream for tabletop CP after dark at 11:30 on Saturday so hopefully you guys can join us there and we look forward to uh, seeing you then